Hello everyone, I'm Sam with Microbat.net and today we're going to be talking about how to update your game mods and other mods for your Android device. Now it all works kind of similar, but especially if you're playing online games on Android, then you will have noticed that if you're using a mod and the game gets updated to a new build, you are not going to be able to play anymore, which means you're not going to be able to use your mod anymore. So the way this works and the reason why that is that Online games use servers and the servers dictate which build of the game and which clients the server is willing to connect to. So what happens when the game updates is that the servers will stop connecting to clients or game apps that are of an outdated old version. So you need to get the new version and since you want to play with mods you need to have the new version including mods. So. There's two ways to go about doing this. Now, the first one is uh, very simple. You would have to go simply to HackerBot.net by simply Googling or using your local search engine to find HackerBot or Game Hacks, and you will find us as well. So, you simply head over to HackerBot.net. What you will find on HackerBot.net is, uh, is that we have a search engine for free cheats. This will only search legitimate websites for the cheats that you are specifically looking for okay so i'm gonna look for a specific version a specific build of a specific game right now so for example free fire mod apk version 1.38.1 okay so if you know that the updated version of the game is 1.38.1 then you will be able to simply head over to hackerbot and use our search engine and find the exact mod and this is only legitimate websites which means you're not going to run into fakes or scams or human verification and so on. So it's it's the, the way I would do it and it's the way I would recommend you do it. So head over to HackerBot.net for that. Now, if you have, if you want a specific mod, okay, from a specific provider, maybe that you found on HackerBot.net or somewhere else, then the only thing you can do is go to the place where they posted their app, right? Now, what I would uh, recommend you do is that you just copy the URL to where you found your mod, where you downloaded it. Uh, maybe some forum, mostly, most of them are forums where legitimate, legitimate mods are posted. So you just have to copy that URL so that once the mod is outdated, you can go back to the place where the person posted the mod and uh, look for an update because that is usually the exact place where an update will be posted. Now, these things are usually downloaded for free. <laughs> of course, they have ads and so on to make up. Uh, nothing's ever free truly in life, is it? So they are making money through ads and they're making money through VIP subscriptions. So if you want to help them a little bit and give them an incentive or a reason to update mods more quickly, you could just subscribe to their VIP disable your ad blocker and so on. Just make sure it's worth their time because these people, they're doing great work. Like it takes a lot of know-how to mod apps. Now, a lot of people are asking me, can I update the mod myself? And the, the frank answer is no. If you're asking that, no. Because what you would have to be able to do is not only know Java, but then also be able to reverse engineer and modify small i code and uh, no and you would have to able be able to copy and paste the finished scripts into the small i code no no so the reason why these mods sometimes take some time to update and why for some versions they're not available for weeks uh, at some points is because it's a pretty pretty um, complex process that only very highly skilled modders can actually do because <laughs> every time the game gets updated uh, in some cases it's just a copy and paste job because not much about the game has changed except just the version of the game but the core mechanics stay the same and the way the cheats are implemented into the code stays the same but if something significant changes that's messing with the mods uh, the modder has to get creative and reprogram his scripts in order to work with all the new game mechanics and new features and so on. So in some cases it might take weeks for a mod to actually update just because there's a lot of work involved, right? And in some cases if it's just a small update for a game, all the modder has to do is copy paste his old code into the new version of the game, uh, compile the APK and there you go. 
So it really depends. In, it depends on how complex an update is, how long it's going to take for an updated version to emerge. Now, <laughs> if you want to learn um, Java programming, reverse engineering, small i modding, hey, go right ahead. There's probably tutorials out there, but it's a very, very, very complex thing. And if you don't have any um, advanced experience in game hacking, in coding, and probably computer science as a whole, you're probably not going to succeed. Like, of course, there's always the, the IQ 160 plus people among you guys, and I have no doubt that you guys exist, that will master this within a matter of months. But yeah, for us normal people, no chance. We need to rely on actual um, coders, on actual modders, on actually skilled people that have experience um, in this uh, genre, in this work, in this uh, craft for years. So what you can do is you can post, you can send them a message on the forums where they post their mods. Um, you can make sure you disable your app blocker so that they make more money. You can uh, pay for their VIP description. You can donate to them. Just be nice with them. Make it worth their while. Because honestly, these people are extremely skilled workers that could make a lot of money in some industries and they're probably choosing to work um, in a, for for gay, uh, as game modders and not getting paid as much as they otherwise would. So um, please respect their sacrifices that they're making to live out their passion and yeah, <laughs> be nice with them. So a nice post uh, below, hey, it's outdated, could you please update the thing, is always nice. Um, another thing that I recommend is just go over to HackerPad.net, use our free finder, and search for just uh, Free Fire mods or whatever game you are looking for mods for and go window shopping, right? There's lots of providers. I'm not advertising anyone specifically. Uh, that's not what I do. What HackerBot.net helps you do is find legitimate websites, find legitimate mods and avoid all the scams, human ver verification and all the fakes. So that's what we do. But I would recommend go from provider pro to provider, uh, compare what they are offering you on how much it's going to cost you, um, what their VIP programs and subscriptions are like, how fast they update their mods. So some providers are going to update really quickly and others won't. Uh, it's a free market, you know, you decide whom you give your loyalty to, if anyone, or you can just use them all at once, going to HackerBot.net and searching for the latest mods and download it wherever it is available. Anyways, guys, I am out of breath. And <laughs> it's a very complex thing. But in the end, um, upgrading it yourself, updating a, a modded APK yourself, no chance, pretty much. <laughs> um, you have to rely on people that do this. Either you find them through HackerBot.net Free Finder, or you find them yourself by going to the place where you downloaded the mod and um, urging them or asking them to update the mod and giving them some incentive to do it because you want to be nice. Anyways, guys. Thanks you guys for watching. I hope you guys have fun. I hope this helps you guys upgrade your mods and I'll see you guys later.